You know, we don't have to always know what to say to people who are dying. Here's a perfect example. I was doing an admission on a, on a woman. She answered the door. She was the patient. It was just me and her in her house. She was not really warm and fuzzy. She was kind of cold, which always makes me a little like, Ugh, like I like want people to like me. And it triggers my people pleasing, like whatever. And that's a whole nother video. But I say that because even though I had the urge to try to like make things better, I know better than to do that. So I just met her where she was at. And I just did what I normally do, which is educate about what hospice is and what she can expect. And then ask if she had any questions. So after I did my whole spiel, again, it was just me and her. She had warmed up a little bit, but not much. And I just said, do you have any questions? And she was silent, like just staring at me. And you know, that's uncomfortable, but I have learned enough to know that like, we just sit uncomfortably in silence sometimes. That's the best thing we can do is allow there to be space, allow there to be silence so the person can process everything I just said. So that's what I did. I sat there. And then finally, she made a move. She started putting her feet up on the couch, like resting back on the couch like this, like kind of making herself comfortable. Again, kept silent. I stayed silent. She stayed silent. And then suddenly she started talking and she was looking up at the ceiling. And she goes, you know, I've been a Christian all my life and I'm not afraid to die. But when I close my eyes and then open them after I die, am I going to see God? And at that moment, she looked at me and she was asking me that question. <laughs> and I sat there in silence and just stared at her. And my instinct was to make her feel better, say something comforting, say something spiritual. And I thought, no, I like silenced myself. And I thought, no, Julie, just tell her the truth. And I just go, I don't know. <laughs> just like that. I kind of laughed. And then she kind of laughed and goes, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> and again, I laughed just like that. And I was like, I guess you will. And then we just laughed together about like the truth will set you free sometimes, even if the truth is scary that we don't know. And we laughed together and we finally made that connection that I hope for in these admission meetings that I have. And we just laughed in the unknowing in that moment. And um, it was a beautiful moment. I'm grateful that we both allowed each other to be silent and to be uncomfortable for a little bit and then to be set free by the truth. It makes me want to cry now. The truth always makes me want to cry, even if it makes things a little more scary because it's the unknown. Anyway, love you guys.